Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. I just got back to Seraph Industries, uh, flew back from the Highland Park, and David wants me to meet him in his office. Let's take a look at my Whispers of Conspiracy is now my mission. Primary objectives. Meet Pritchard in my office. Pritchard is waiting in my office to tell me something important. I might want to see him before debriefing Seraph, but then again, it might be fun to make him wait. Meet Seraph in the penthouse. Seraph needs to hear about my encounter with the Black Ops mercenary Barrett. He's waiting in the penthouse for me. Okay, so that's what I have going on. I also have a full inventory of goodies. And let's just uh, see if uh, Farida has anything new to say. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Shit. You know, people have been talking about these kind of things ever since I was a kid. But to actually find evidence, to know the people running this country distrust us so much, makes you wonder hmm. if they really did close Guantanamo. Yeah, I guess it is kind of disturbing when you think about it. is kind of disturbing. You know, people have been talking about these kind of things ever since Okay. So, I think I'll go in and talk to Pritchard first. Any idea what the big guys got in store for you next, Mr. J? You go do what you gotta do. The team's gonna be sticking around to make sure nothing happens. I appreciate that, team. Get this, boss. William Taggart was here. Might still be here. I guess he met with Mr. Seraph about something. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't hear the discussion all the way down here. Taggart is here, huh? By the way, you said something about wanting to meet our head of security. Didn't sound too flattering either. I should have tossed him out on his ass. Yeah. Fuck Taggart. By the way, you said something about one You best not act up with me. Not like I'll actually do anything, but I'm just saying. I won't be happy if he acts up with me. Let's put it that way. I don't have time to talk to you, Jensen. I've got a lot of work to catch up with. Well, I guess you're Mr. Important. Maybe you should concern yourself with security. That's your job, isn't it? Well, you look kind of suspicious. What is everyone still doing here? What am I still doing here? Well, you're not working, apparently. Now that things have calmed down, I think I'll head home. Yeah. Maybe you should do that. Adam, did you hear? Someone stirred up a hornet's nest in gang territory. I heard. <laughs> the DRB are raging. Apparently they're looking for some augmented nut who was in their territory. That's got a death wish. Uh, I don't think he does. I hope my sister's all right. She lives there, Daryl. If it was up to me, I'd just carpet bomb the whole district. No big loss. Not a big fan of the gangbangers, huh? My sister's she lives there, there. Anything uh, new and exciting happening down here? What's up with you, Janitor? Hi, Adam. Um, look, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy nut job, but uh, is it true you found a secret government internment facility right here in Detroit? It is true. Damn government. Emergency How do you know? management, my shiny white ass. The mechanism for martial law is in place, buddy. You just watch. That does seem to be true. I, I saw some references to some real martial law looking looking stuff that they had planned with that uh I don't remember what the code name was, but Hey Adam, you gonna leave something for us to do? Or are we only good enough for keeping watch over the cleaning crew? Hey, that cleaning crew gets unruly. You gotta keep an eye on them. The one man army routine is gonna put us all out of jobs. <laughs> Sorry, you guys suck, I guess. You got anything you need help with, Mr. J, you come give me. I will come personally to you. I wouldn't mind busting some heads with you. Especially some of those anti-augmentation radicals. The thing is, you are not an augmented badass like me. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you. Let's see uh, what, what new we stuff we have on the news. Retired millionaire Hugh Darrow was spotted leaving an upscale hotel in Prague today. Prague. The same hmm. hotel that was concurrently hosting a three-day conference for UNESCO. 
This sighting comes barely three days after VersaLife CEO Bob Page was also spotted powwowing with United Nations delegates. This hmm. time outside the international organization's New York headquarters. I don't know about you folks, but it suggests to me that we may be finally seeing some action in the ongoing debate over human enhancement technology. The Why else would some of the world's foremost experts in augmentation sciences be meeting with delegates in secret? This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikus. So there's some stuff going on. So Darrow's was in Prague, no longer up in the Arctic or whatever. Interesting. All right, that's enough of that. UNESCO, that's part of the United Nations. I'm not sure what the ESCO part stands for. I don't have time to talk to you, Jensen. I've got a lot of work to catch up on. Maybe you should concern yourself with security. You Maybe got. you should concern yourself with yourself and not with me. How about that? I'd like to finish up what I have to do so I can get home. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. Well, that's understandable. Any new uh, headlines? Oh, yeah, we got headlines. Here we go. Ah, this looks um, possibly reactive to what I did. Uh, Wayne Haas, there's that jackass again. Police investigate break-in at City Morgue. An unknown perpetrator broke into the Jefferson Drive police precinct this evening and tampered with important evidence, potentially derailing an ongoing investigation, said police. Officials have begun questioning anyone who may have witnessed the burglary, with an apparent focus on Desk Sergeant Wayne Haas, who was on duty at the time. Haas is the ex-SWAT team operative who shot and killed a 15-year-old boy in Mexican town two years ago, igniting a citywide riot. The precinct will be shut down until a thorough investigation by Homeland Security is completed, said Ryan Penn, chief of the Detroit Police Department. Jefferson Drive is the same facility where the bodies of those killed at Seraph Industries had been taken after the savage attack at company headquarters earlier this year. Right. So they're investigating. They want to know who uh, who did that. I know. <laughs> and maybe Haas is going to get in more trouble, which, uh, well, sucks to be him. Downtown broadcast installation vandalized. Cable television and radio services were disrupted across Detroit City Center this evening when a broadcast antenna located in gang-controlled territory was shut down. Local police and Picus News, who own and maintain the broadcast installation, are investigating the incident. <laughs> nice. I think I know who was behind that, too, if you know what I mean. Stop off for a drink. All right. Delish. A little water. Can you believe what's going on out there? Terrorist demonstrations. I heard there's been lots of violence in Derelict Road, too. Gangs, I guess. Not too many casualties yet, but something's got them on edge. Yeah, I've I've heard about those uh, that violence you as well. The tension in the air. I don't envy you living there. Man. That's where it'll blow up. Those gangs are just waiting for a spark. I think I might have actually provided a little bit of a spark with my with my activities we there. Everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro ons who might want to get a tiger, but the ones against them too. You're saying that pro human activists might see this visit as treachery? I'm just saying anything is possible. So keep your eyes out for suspicious characters. Right. No one relaxes until Taggart and his entourage are out of the building. Ah, so Taggart's still here. And they're worried about about demonstrators or protesters from either side coming and acting up with this because they don't like the fact that Taggart's here. Covered here, boss. Don't you worry. I can tell. This area is so secure right now. I think Mr. Seraph might be expecting you. Hey, boss. I heard there was some kind of commotion at the downtown police station earlier. <laughs> You know that's the precinct that was handling the investigation into the first attack against us, don't you? Uh, I do know, yes. We're attacked, then the police handling the investigation get attacked. I guess it's a stretch to think that the two are related. Well, those cops shouldn't have covered up what happened at our, at our facility. That's what they get. I do not appreciate these cover-ups. Hey, Jesse. Another late one, huh? Yeah, another late one. Hmm. It's interesting that every time I come back here, like, things are a little different. The same people aren't necessarily in the same spots, and of course everybody says different things, which is pretty sweet. How you feeling, Adam? 
Quite the first day back, huh? Yeah, it, it's been pretty active. Looks like you're taking to those augments pretty well, though. You haven't lost a step. I've, in fact, I've gained a step. Any idea what the big guy's got in store for you next, Mr. J? One small step for man, one giant leap for Adam Jensen. Get this, boss. William Taggart was here. Might still be here. Yeah, I, I know. Hey, Mr. Jensen. You think we still need all this security in here now that the situation is behind us? I think you guys will all get killed the next time we get attacked anyway, so... Most of the office has gone home. Only the cleaning crew is sticking around. Only the cleaning crew is sticking around. And security, of course. Wow, the receptionist is gone and there's a security guard there. Adam? Is Mr. Seraph really shipping you off to China? What's he thinking? <laughs> she knows more about what I'm doing than I do. Hey, honey. Okay. Taggart was just here, Adam. Did you know he has a rehab center out in Utah? Sounds more like a brainwash center to me. Ooh, a brainwash center. That sounds fun. They convinced people to get rid of their augmentation. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they convinced them to do a bunch of things. You know what I mean? It's like a cult. Well, I don't need rehab for my augmentations. I don't appreciate the thought. I think the roads are okay. The limb demonstration ended hours ago. Hey, Mr. Jensen. Sydney left for the night about the an hour ago. Just down the block. So did most fine. of the others. I guess you know your way around by now, though. <laughs> I right? fact, I do, yeah. I got the front I'll desk, but don't expect me to take any phone calls. That ain't in my contract. <laughs> I can see you're working hard. Adam, is Mr. Seraph really shipping you off to China? What's he thinking? Well, apparently he is, according to you. You don't send your chief of security halfway around the world just hours after a terrorist attack on your company? It doesn't make sense. Whoever she just picked up the phone that was calling her is like, what are you talking about? I got the front desk, but don't expect me to take any phone okay, calls. Okay, you don't have to that make any phone mind. calls, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Guard. Okay. <laughs> See, oh, I could hack anything. Anything, well, maybe not anything, but all these, any doors that were left here that I wasn't able, oh, I can't get into this one. Farida's is security level four, jeez. Get this, Adam. I heard on the police scanner, someone decimated the derelict rogue gang. It took them apart right in their own territory. It must have been some turf war with the MCBs. Uh, no, oh, it was me. Sir. I know, it's ridiculous. But a guy like me couldn't just walk through that area. Maybe a guy like you could. The DRBs hate people with augments, though. If <laughs> they hate me even more now. <laughs> am I going to hack this computer? Hell yes, I am. Like, am I going to get in trouble for hacking into offices in this building? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. These guys work for me, so if they start getting all crazy pointing guns at me, that would be funny. Um All right, well let's take the easy ones first. Here we go. 10 credits is what was in that data store. Nice. Undetected. Access credit. 10 credits, but 75 XP, so... Hi. I'm just coming into your office. What's going on in here? Adam, is Mr. Seraph really shipping you off to China? What's he thinking? You don't send your... Yeah, I've heard. So this is Jerry Maher. Mar, Jerry Marr and Dory Harris's office. It must be Jerry Marr sitting right there. What's up, Jerry? Oh, I shouldn't even be in here trying to loot stuff, considering that my inventory is 100% full. And considering that there's apparently nothing in here to loot. And I can't use this computer, possibly because he's at it, or possibly just because I can't. Um, so we'll talk to him in just a second. But that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you for watching. Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.